Today we use this lab sheet to be able to get used to the simulator that you're going to have available to you for use in the extra credit assignment. And this simulator is online. You'll notice that the link is, is right there in the lab sheet. And when you look on today's homework assignment, or in the uh, our homework page, in the classwork section, there is a link for this page, and also there is a link to get to the simulator, which looks like this. And as you're looking at the simulator, you're seeing, first of all, the chamber, which is right here. And that chamber is where the action occurs with the molecules. What you're going to be using, though, is this little section right here that I'm zooming in on that shows you the sliders that you use to control the different conditions that are used in the gas simulator. You'll notice that the radio button, which is right up here, is used on pressure right now. And the pressure will move, or it will change, if you move any of the other sliders. Let me move sliders individually here. Now watch as I move this slider to the left. The numbers to the right of that slider are going down and the numbers on the pressure are going up, indicating that there's an inverse relationship here between pressure and volume. In your lab sheet, what I've tried to do is set this up so that you could see the relationship between all of the variables. This is what I'm referring to as the pressure section. And in the pressure section, you can't mess with pressure. That's the one that's going to change when you move one of the other th uh, three variables. There's only four variables in PVNRT, and pressure is one of them. So when I say here, up, what I mean is that I want you to move the volume up when you're here on this line, I want you to be moving the number of moles, the N, up. Now, as you move it up, you're going to watch and see whether the pressure goes up or down. Whichever one it does, you circle that. If it moves up, you circle up. If it moves down, you circle down. Now, down here, when we're in the velocity section, you'll notice that the velocity lines are all X'd out because you can't move velocity. The velocity is going to change, though, when you move one of these three columns and when you move the, the column that says pr uh, P, then when your pressure goes up, you're going to see whether the volume goes up or down. If it goes up, you circle the up. If it goes down, you circle the down. Now let's see. Let's take the first, very first one here, the volume and the pressure. Now let's look at the gas simulator. And you're going to see in the gas simulator what happens when we move the volume up. Okay, so we're going to click on volume here and hold it and move it to the right. Okay, did you see what's happening to the numbers there? I'm moving it up, and the pressure is going down. So I come back over here to my lab sheet, and I'm going to make a circle around the, the up. And so I'm just going to circle up right now. Or I'm sorry, it went down. <laughs> circle down right now because when the volume went up, the pressure went down. Now when we get to the next line, we're going to move the, the uh, number of moles up. Now before we do the next exercise, the next part of the exercise, we want to go over here and hit the reset button. See where that is? I'll point to it right now, and you can see the mouse over it. I'm going to hit reset, and then I'm going to do my next one. And so the next one is going to be moles. I'm going to take the moles slider and move that to the right. And as the moles go up, you can see whether the, 
volume or the pressure, which is the one that's changing. You see this number up here is changing. You're going to see whether that goes up or down. Now, when I get to my volume section, okay, volume section is right here. When I get to my volume section, I'm going to go ahead and click the radio button for volume. So here we go, clicking volume. And then I'm going to move the pressure up. I'm going to see if the volume goes up or down. But I have to hit the reset first. Okay. And I'm going to, oh, the reset is going to, yeah, take care of all, all of our problems that we maybe made from the last uh, little exercise. So we move this guy up. And as the pressure goes up, you can see what happens to the volume right here. And so whatever that does, you're going to come over here and you're going to circle whatever was appropriate. And in this case, the volume went up. And our, our, I'm sorry, we moved the pressure up and the volume went down, which you could see not only by the numbers over here, okay, but you could also see it over here. See, the chamber went down. Let me move that volume thing again, or the pressure, and that'll move the volume. Woo, went way out of the, there you go. Now I'm moving pressure up, or volume, I'm moving volume. The volume is going down as I move up the pressure. As the pressure is decreased, then the volume goes up. Okay, so you can see that inverse relationship. And that's how you do it. That's all there is to it. You just have to circle the appropriate things. And when you're done, you will have all of these things circled. There won't be anything written in on these areas. And you're done, ready to go. Enjoy the lab.